Welcome back to another episode of the Owl Talk Podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Camilleri. Today, we are excited to be joined by Lauren Winther Hansen from Free Will to discuss our partnership and how our members can begin securing their legacies today. Glad to have you join us on the podcast, Lauren. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is a treat. Absolutely. Well, you know, let's get started and with a straightforward question. Uh, what is Free Will? Sure. Well, Free Will is a tech startup. So we're a social impact tech company. And the software we build is all centered around charitable giving to nonprofits. So it makes it easier for donors and nonprofits to give and receive creative contributions like gifts and wills. And Free Will is what's called a public benefit corporation. So while we are for profit, it's baked into our DNA that we work to make a positive social impact as well. Um, so we partner with over 1,200 nonprofits as our clients. Over 800,000 people have used our tools to write their will so far. And today we've raised over $8 billion for charity through our various products. Well, Lauren, that's uh, really awesome to hear. Um, can you kind of explain to our listeners, you know, the partnership between Sigma Pi and Free Will and how it can benefit Sigma Pi? Certainly. So Sigma Pi and Free Will have been partnering together for about 18 months to offer your members and supporters an easy way to write a will or a revocable living trust online in 20 to 30 minutes, 100% for free. And that free estate planning tool is available right now at freewill.com slash Sigma Pi. So we work together to create that online tool. We strategize around how best to share it with your supporters, including everyone who's listening today. And we help you deploy that outreach to your members digitally or even in print. And then we analyze the results together to desert, determine how these tools are working for you and your supporters and tweak that strategy as needed. So from Sigma Pi's perspective, the partnership helps you talk to your members and donors about a tricky topic, estate planning, so you can help them protect themselves and provide for their loved ones and their favorite causes like Sigma Pi. Um, and that includes securing new legacy gifts in your supporters' plans. Uh, and as a quick side note there, I want to say around three quarters of Americans give to charity every year, but only about six to seven percent of Americans have included charity in their will. So we work with you to help close that gap so more people can have that long-term impact in their plan. Um, but from the perspective of your supporters, the, the partnership makes a free online tool available. It's a complete a task that I mean, I mean, let's be honest, most of us would put it off indefinitely if we could, right? Um, because we don't want to think about it, or we think it'll be hard or confusing or expensive. But the tool takes something that feels intimidating and makes it so, so easy to do. And having that plan in place brings security and peace of mind. Well, Lord, kind of on that subject, you know, uh, like you kind of mentioned, a will is often seen as complex and kind of a daunting task. Uh, but how does the free will platform, you know, simplify that process for Signify members? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Is it, it is seen as complex. And that's one reason that we have a legacy gap in this country. Um, to explain what I mean, when you survey Americans, about two thirds of them acknowledge that having a will is important, but only a third of Americans have a will in place. And a survey was done by Caring.com uh, this year where people were asked why they haven't engaged in estate planning. And the number one reason why is procrastination. They just, they haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but the other reasons they gave were things like they don't know how to do it. They think it's too expensive. They have no one to leave assets to, or they think it takes too long or is too complicated. So, so your question was, how does free will simplify the process for Sigma Pi members? Well, for one, you don't have to visit an attorney, right? <laughs> you can do this from the comfort of your own home, from the couch, or gathered around the dinner table with your family. Also, it's free. So that eliminates the financial burden, which can be really prohibitive for some people. Third, free will makes it easy to leave assets to loved ones or to charity. So for those who have no one to leave assets to, this creates an opportunity for legacy. 
And then fourth, I'd say the online experience of free will is so warm and intuitive. We've worked really hard to ensure the tool isn't just user friendly, but actually enjoyable to use. Um, it's clean and uncluttered. It it walks you through every step. It explains questions that might be unfamiliar to you. And then at the end of the process, you have a will or trust document with a built-in cover page of instructions to finalize the plan and make it legally binding. Uh, so you really can't mess it up. Um, I do want to say one quick thing, which is that although you don't need to work with an attorney to use free will, you certainly can pair free will with an attorney if you have a lot of assets or have a complex family situation. So in that case, you can use free will to document your wishes and then take that to the attorney, which will save you time and money in the long run. Well, thank you, Lauren, for all that uh, for all that great information. Uh, you've kind of touched on it a little bit, but can you can you just kind of reiterate you know, some of the important uh, reasons why someone should create a will? Yeah, of course. Everyone aged 18 plus should have a will or living trust, uh, it, regardless of your wealth. Um, for one, having a plan in place ensures your wishes are no. Um, and, and it saves your loved ones stress and the cost of what we call intestate probate proceedings, which basically means you died with no plan so people can't be sure what you wanted. Um, as a nonprofit professional, myself and a former plan gift fundraiser, I've personally witnessed those situations where family families were struggling in their grief to make sense of what their loved ones wanted. And it's really tough to see that. Um, I imagine some of you might be aware of some of the celebrities like uh, Prince or the artist formerly known as Prince comes to mind who died without a will. And the handling of their estate made headlines because it was really difficult to handle. So when you have a valid will or trust, you get to choose who gets your property, um, and that includes your cash, but it includes real estate, personal property. Um, it includes everything. You can also name guardians for your children. You can provide for a home for your pets, and you can provide for charitable causes that you care about and, and more. Um, so with free will, that process only takes 20 to 30 minutes to complete, and you can log back into free will anytime to update your documents later if your plans change. Um, one thing to note here, too, is that everyone has some assets that aren't controlled by a will, uh, and that's what we call non-probate assets. That includes things like your IRA, your 401k, a life insurance policy, things like that. Free will helps you create plans for those assets as well, um, along with but outside of the will writing process. So it really is holistic looking at all your assets and creating a plan so you can have peace of mind and help your loved ones avoid stress uh, in a time of grief. Yeah, I mean, that's all excellent points on why someone should definitely uh, create a will. Um, can you speak on a little bit on, you know, are there any specific considerations uh, that our members should uh, keep in mind when drafting their wills at various stages in their lives? Yes, definitely. And the first thing to keep in mind is that you'll need a starter will, but your will could and and probably should change over time with major changes in your life, right? So um, if you get married, if you have children or you adopt children, if you buy a house, if you get an inheritance, uh, or maybe you have to assume care or responsibility for a family member, if you get divorced, if your spouse passes away, these are all major life changes that will probably require you to update your plan. Um, and so it, it's it's sort of a best practice to review your drafted will regularly, like perhaps once every year or two to make sure it still reflects your life and your values. Um, but again, when you write your plan on free will, you can log back into that account anytime to make updates at no cost. And then you simply download and execute the new document and that supersedes the earlier draft. So you can always stay up to date. Perfect. And last question here for you, Lauren. Uh, could you walk us through the steps involved in creating a will through your platform? I, I certainly can, but honestly, it's so intuitive that I'd encourage your listeners to just visit freewill.com slash SigmaPi and explore it on their own. Um, but and, and, and this actually is a great time to do that because, as you might know, August is National Make-A-Will Month. So thousands of people are going to be joining them in taking on this important task. So this is a good time to check it out. But with that said, once you create an account with free will, you're going to be asked for basic demographic information like your birth date and your address, things like that. 
Um, we'll ask you about your marital status, and then we'll ask you about children, any, particularly any minor children who will require guardianship. We then go through a section about pets, so you can provide for their care after you're gone. Um, and then we get in a little bit to your assets, like what is your estimated uh, value of your total estate? The next section is all about charitable giving. So this is where you can say which nonprofits or causes you want to support in your will that hopefully would you know, you'll consider giving to, to Sigma Pi, whether that's just general giving or scholarships or housing funds, you name it. You have a lot of options there. Um, the tool then you, leads you through naming beneficiaries of your residual estate. So what that means is after all your bills are paid, after all the specific gifts are given, whatever's left in your estate is going to get liquidated and divided up as you designate. So you're going to want to say which family members or friends or charities are going to get that leftover residual of your estate. Um, after that, you go into any specific gifts, gifts of property, a car, a boat, a collection that you want to give to specific people. And you also have a chance to make your wishes known about your funeral and your final resting place. Um, and then you're sort of just to the end. It's who do you want to be the executor of your will? Who do you want to be your digital executor? They're going to take care of all your digital assets, right? Like the contents of your computer or your cell phone or your email accounts. Um, and we've got a few additional options for clauses that you may want to add depending on which state you live in. And those are all explained for you very clearly. And then uh, your last section is a personal statement, which is optional. If you want to leave a note to family or a statement of values, you can do that. That's just free text, whatever you like. Um, and at that point, you just review all your responses. You can hop back in and make edits if needed. And then you click submit. And from that confirmation page, you can either email your will to yourself or your attorney or anyone that you like, or you can download the PDF and the cover page will have all of your instructions to finish the process. So again, it's very intuitive and easy to follow along. We work very hard to make sure that's so. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for explaining all that. Um, and, you know, thank you so much for explaining uh, all of Free Will has to offer to our listeners today. We greatly appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. I encourage everyone to give this, uh, to give Sigma Pi's tool a look, especially during Make a Well Month. It's an exciting time of year. Absolutely. And as, you, as Lauren said, you know, visit sigmapi.org forward slash free will uh, to learn more. That'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for joining us on the All Talk podcast. And thank you, Lauren, for showcasing how our members can continue their legacy by creating a will through free will. For everyone listening, make sure to hit subscribe and please leave a rating and review on your favorite podcast platform. And as always, I believe.